everybody. So it's been a few days since we've talked. I will be 25 weeks on Tuesday and what is today is Sunday. So I have another doctor's appointment tomorrow which means I will be finding out if I'm diabetic and if my baby has Down syndrome. Hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that they have the result back for that because it's been a very long time since I've heard anything and the results they've had for a while now. As for the car accident situation, come to find out all of the information that the guy who hit me gave me is false, which then makes the accident a hit and run. Which means I now have to pay a deductible and deal with my own insurance company in order to get that fixed, which is not any fun. I did finally get all my diapers in, which is the main purpose of this video, so I'm going to show you my cloth diapers and inserts um, that I had ordered and kind of explain how I'm going to do things. Um, gosh, I have something else to tell you. Oh, as far as my phone is concerned, I am still videotaping from my iPhone, but I will no longer have this phone, so my video format or the things how I video may soon be changing. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that. I'll probably just start using my normal camera for it because I do have to give my iPhone to another family member, so I can't use that as a camera. And I am slightly disappointed with the way that um, Cricut services. Not that the service itself is bad. It's just I have um, what's considered an Android smartphone through Cricut. And I'm so scared to even get on the internet because I'm worried that I'll go over on my data that I don't even touch it. So I feel like I'm paying $60 a month for internet that I'm not even using. So what I think I'm going to do is go up to Cricut and change my entire plan so that I'm paying less only for unlimited text and call. And probably I will not be dealing with an Android because after having an iPhone it is so hard to switch to an Android. Um... Tonight, uh, I went out with the family, which was a lot of fun. Um, I do have a couple outfits that I've gotten over the next couple, or well, the last few days, that um, my family's gotten me, so I will insert a picture of that at the end of the video. I also have a few pictures of the coolest thing in the world. My mom was doing hair today, and when I lifted my stomach and kind of leaned back a little bit, Olivia's back, like, was poking out. So I have, like, two awesome pictures of her doing that. Excuse the stretch marks, I know. I have horrible stretch marks, and it just seems like there's nothing that I can do about them. I had, um, stretch marks before I was even pregnant on my stomach from, like, rapid weight gain. But, um... It's not even that I've gotten more stretch marks since then, it's just those stretch marks keep growing. And it's like it doesn't matter how much lotion I have, how much lotion I apply, how um, how many times daily that I put it on. There is nothing that's changing the fact that I have stretch marks. So I figure I'll just deal with it and then after Olivia's born maybe I'll like tan or something or what I call a tan in a can which I got at Walmart and it's just the, the spray on tan which I used before I was even pregnant and um, that concealed the stretch marks that I had before so hopefully tanning will help that we'll see um okay so I will insert pictures at the end and now we can go over cloth diapers I do have a lot I'm gonna turn this around to show you um sorry that was kind of bad but just happened um, it took so long to get them in, like, three weeks, which was ridiculous, but I have a lot of different colors, so yeah, as you can see right here, I've got a whole stack here, I've got, like, lots of oranges and whites and blues and purples, more here, and then there's, like, two more piles back there, which are just, like, greens and grays, and, and pretty much... Just the same colors all over again. Um, I really wanted to get some pinks, but when they emailed me and asked me what colors I wanted, I didn't get back to them soon enough, so I'm assuming they just sent me neutral ones. These right here are all of my inserts. I've got, I want to say I have 22 diapers all together and 60 inserts, I think is what I have, because each of these diapers already has an insert in them. And then I have all of these right here that have been ordered separately. And then what I'm going to do so that she does not ruin these beautiful cloth diapers that I spent $150 on. Um, when she's a newborn, when she has like those nasty tarry poops. Sorry, the lighting's kind of like crap in the background. Sorry about that. Um, 
I'm just going to like, I got these through Rachel's house, which they gave me a lot of like baby stuff, but hopefully these will last me a little while. Probably not. They'll probably go really fast. So I only have three, but when I have my baby shower, then I'll probably get more diapers because not everybody understands the whole Clyde, Clyde, cloth diaper thing. Um, but I'll probably just use these, just the normal disposables, while she's like a baby baby, just so that I don't have to try to tighten those on her and stuff like that, and so that she's not staining my cloth diapers with her nasty tar poops. So that's about it. I can kind of, I have laundry all over right now. I've been trying to get it it done as much as possible but I'm going to do a quick walkthrough I guess of the room since you guys have not seen that yet this is her crib wall right here that um, tree branch was free-handed and that's her crib um, this week I bought her her laundry basket which is just right next to her crib it's got a blanket over it right now and then I got new sheets and curtains for the room as well well, sheets for my bed and curtains, so I'll let you guys see that. Those are her curtains that I'm absolutely in love with. That's my bed, which kind of matches the tan. And then I do have this picture frame up right now, which I love this picture frame. It's got all those pretty little pictures on it, and that's hanging up on the wall. I'm going to put two more picture frames up on my wall, one of the uh, baby shower pictures, and then another collage of the, the day that she's born. And that is pretty much it. I do have one short story to tell you guys. I'm going to sit down for it though because it's, I need to relax. But, okay, so I was at work the other day. And normally when I walk into work, I go directly behind the counter. And I check the schedule to see who's coming in at what times. And so I did that. And there was a guy who was, or uh, a customer, a male customer who was already being checked out. And, um... Before he left, he turned to me and he said, good luck with those. And I, I was like, um, excuse me, what are you talking about? And he was like, you're having twins. And I was like, no, I'm not. Definitely one baby. And he goes, well, I'm sensing boys. And I said, no, you're way off. I'm having one girl. And he goes, well, um, and then he was like, well, I'm reading your energy. And he told me that, um, I'm having twins and that my son is right behind my daughter. And that's why um, ultrasound isn't picking it up. So this guy claimed to be psychic. Now, I don't necessarily know how accurate he is or even how accurate that whole situation is. He said that he's like 89% accurate. But, I don't know, it freaks me out a little bit. So super stoked for the 3D now so that I can confirm whether or not I'm having twins according to this psychic man. Um, but yeah, a little freaked out about that. And, um... That's pretty much it. The only thing that I could think, like, that would maybe throw him off is the fact that I've had a miscarriage before, and maybe I'm just far-fetched thinking, but I thought, well, maybe he's sensing twins because I had a miscarriage, and maybe the baby that I was going to have before was a boy, and if you go into the whole religious Christianity type situation, I was like, what if he's, like, her guardian angel and is protecting my baby girl, which would be so awesome, but... I think I've hit every point. Um, comment, subscribe, show the like button some love, and I would love to hear from you guys. So please start up conversations, whatever. Oh, and another point, I totally keep forgetting to do this, and it's driving me freaking crazy, but I'm finally going to put it in. Shout out to my, one of my favorite, favorite people to watch. I talk to her all the time, and I love this girl. She's from Australia, so her accident, or accident, Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Her accent is awesome. Everybody's always like on her about whatever. You know what? Ignore it. Um, Gemma, I love you. And for anybody who hasn't subscribed to her, subscribe to her because she's awesome. You can find her under Teen Mummy 94. I believe that's T E E N and then Mummy like M U M M Y, I think so. 94. And if I totally just messed that up, I apologize. But shout out to you because I told you I was going to do it forever and I haven't. So there you go. Bye guys.